Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. If you have a comment or a success story you'd like to share, we want to hear from you, 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. This is your show. This is your opportunity to talk to a healthcare professional. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are your go-to resource for all things health and nutrition. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you're advertised or recommended on the program, please head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase longevity products right off the website. Our Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Healthy Start Pack, Ultimate Selenium, Ultimate Niacin, Ultimate Nightly Essence, Fucoid Z, all the fine longevity products you hear us talk about on the Bright Side every day. They're all at brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. You can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start yourself a longevity business Get your products at the wholesale price, earn thank you checks, and live the life of an entrepreneur. If you're entrepreneurially minded, if you like making your own hours and working out of the home, enjoying all the tax benefits associated with having your own business for a one-time $25 fee, you can start a longevity business and we can help you build it. Call 866-735-2470 if you want more information. That's 866-735-2470. Or you can sign up right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, all at truthtreatments.com. We've got a skin health blog as well as all the products and all the information about the products. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, surfactant, water. Nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. You can find out all about them at truthtreatments.com truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to The Bright Side, friends. We're talking about the body's amazing detoxification abilities. The human body just has this incredible way of purifying itself. This purification ability, this detox ability is largely housed in the liver. It's part of its day-to-day -day life. Part of the, the day-to-day -day operations in the body involves detoxification. You don't necessarily need to have a detoxification program. Or, or a cleanse. I get questions about cleanses all the time and detoxification. I'm detoxing. I'm cleansing. The best way to detox is not to put the toxins in the body. You don't need to help the body detoxify. You need to help the body have the raw materials it needs to detoxify. But detoxification is part and parcel of the body's normal day-to-day -day biochemistry. This purification, detox ability is largely housed in the liver through which the blood is constantly flowing. Every three minutes or so, the entire bloodstream makes its way through the body's largest internal organ. Every three minutes or so, the entire bloodstream is purified through its contact with the liver through its contact with the biochemistry of the liver, particularly the biochemical that we call the master detoxifier, glutathione. 
The more pollutants we're exposed to, the more important glutathione becomes. Glutathione, G-L-U-T-A-T-H-I-O-N-E, glutathione. The more dirt we put in our body, the more pollution we put in our body, the more important this incredible master detoxifying molecule becomes. And that includes cigarette smoke, that includes alcohol, that includes food toxins, chemicals they put into food to make us eat more of the food. I'm not talking about necessarily the chemistry of food, but I'm talking about the chemistry of artificial food, processed food. Sugar, which is not always a poison, of course, but certainly has toxic effects when it's not controlled. Sugar will burden the glutathione system. All drugs burden the glutathione system. And by the way, this is the key difference between pharmaceuticals and nutrients and an unappreciated, in my opinion, distinction, at least by medical professionals and, and by regular folks too. We don't necessarily distinguish between the health benefits associated with nutrition and the so-called health benefits associated with, with drugs. But the key distinction, the key element that distinguishes drugs and pharmaceuticals from nutrients is drugs require expenditure of the detoxification chemistry of the body. What we call nutrition or nutrients, as in the mighty 90 essential nutrients, do not require purification and detoxification. Drugs do. Drugs cost us nutrition. Drugs cost us detoxification power. When I talk drugs, I'm talking pharmaceuticals as well as illegal drugs. I'm talking about legal and illegal drugs. These are all poisons to the body. They deplete the body's detoxification chemistry. They burden the body's detox systems. They deplete resources, and they especially reduce glutathione levels, as well as the building blocks of glutathione. The more drugs you're on, the more prescriptions you're on. If you're one of the millions and millions of Americans who's practicing polypharmacy or who's, who's being practiced, who has polypharmacy being practiced on them, is really what I should say. You're depleting your body of glutathione, of the building blocks of glutathione, glycine, glutamine, cysteine, not to mention vitamin C, not to mention vitamin E, not to mention the B complex and minerals like zinc and copper and selenium and sulfur and magnesium, among other nutrients. These are all the key elements of the detoxification system in the body and they are all depleted by drugs. And in this way, Prescription drugs and the so-called medical model and the pharmaceutical model of health is actually anti-health. And any healthcare professional who recommends or dispenses drugs is actually an anti-health care professional, a sickness professional, because they're promoting disease in the name of reducing symptoms, in the name of giving us better test scores. Yes, your statin drugs will lower your, L, your uh, LDL levels and they'll raise your HDL levels, but they will cost you nutrition. This understanding exposes the great irony and the medical insanity of treating chronically sick bodies with medication. And it's something drug companies never talk about. Long-term daily use of doctor-prescribed medicine increases our risk of other illnesses via this nutritional nutrient depletion mechanism, via this glutathione depletion mechanism. The more drugs you take, the more sick you will be. The more medication you're on, the sicker you will be. The emperor has no clothes. This is a sneaky, deceitful, idiotic model, an idiotic way of treating the body. And I understand there are times you need drugs. I know I say this a lot, but it's very important that I, I, I don't want you guys to think that I'm anti-drugs all the time because there are times you need them. But to be on a drug long term uh, in the name of reducing a risk, to reduce a risk of diseases is insanity. And this is just, it blows me away. I cannot understand how we buy into this. This is an insane way to treat sick people, already compromised by illness. Although, although, from a marketing perspective, it makes perfect sense. It's a perfectly logical step-by-step -step program to assure drug, company, uh, drug companies have customers and that there are drug company profits. Well, it's insane from a healthcare perspective, but it makes perfect sense from an economics perspective. And once again, we see the institution pitted against the individual. The institution, them, against the individual, us. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We shall return with more good health information right after this. Okay, we are 
We're back on the Bright Side. Farms has been here. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, comments, success story. If you have questions about the longevity products or our Truth Skin Health products or really anything health-related, our number 844-236-6010. Got lines open, and we will get your calls at the bottom of the hour, as we always do on the Bright Side. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products, you're advertised or recommended on the program, please head to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And if you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, go to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so this craziness, absolute lunacy of treating uh, treating the body, treating an already sick body with drugs is really not crazy when it comes to economics, when it comes to finances. It's, per- it's perfectly logical. It's a step-by-step program to assure that drug companies will have profits. Step one, convince doctors that uh, and sick patients that their symptoms will be reduced or their risks for disease. I love that one. Your risks will be lowered, whatever that means percentages, dec- uh, statistics, your risks will, uh, of getting sick or getting sicker will be decreased. Keep in mind, nobody's saying that you're not going to get sick. They're telling you your risks will be decreased, whatever that means. You can still get a heart attack, but you might have a 10% less chance of getting a heart attack if you're on a statin drug. So then the patient takes the drug. You know, we do what our doctors tell us to do. So the drug doctor writes a drug for a statin, uh, writes a prescription for a statin drug. Even if we're already sick, even if we already had a heart attack, even if our, uh, we're already cardio compromised, but we're going to have a 20% less chance of, a, of having a risk. So now the patient becomes a customer. Step number two, glutathione protects the body from the statin drug. The statin drug is perceived to be a deadly toxin. It's a, the body doesn't know, the liver doesn't know that the doctor gave it to us to decrease our risk of disease. So glutathione comes to the rescue. And because glutathione is so darn effective, this tricks the patients and it tricks the doctors into thinking that the drugs are benign because the glutathione and the B-complex and the vitamin C have detoxified the drugs because the liver has purified itself. So we think the drug is benign, is gentle. And we think that the risk reduction that is promoted is somehow worse, uh, worth the potential risk which, because we don't really feel anything. May, oh, maybe we may get a little tired or something, or we may have a little memory problem, or our muscles don't work as well. But for the most part, uh, you're not going to notice too many side effects or too, many toxic, too much toxicity when you start your prescription program. Unfortunately, over time, glutathione levels drop, and B vitamin levels drop, and selenium levels drop, and copper levels drop, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And without our, our biochemical angels, we become at risk for other diseases. And they will seem to be unrelated. We won't make the link between the statin drug or between the beta blocker or the calcium channel blocker and the new diseases that are showing up because our ability to purify, our body's ability to purify itself has, has become diminished. And they'll seem unrelated to the, to the original problem. And of course, then we'll get more drugs for the new diseases. And then we'll have skin problems and fatigue and sexual issues and depression. We just won't feel like ourselves. Or we may get cold sores or shingles. And then we'll get more drugs. This is where polypharmacy comes from. And, of course, because glutathione protects us from cancer, now we're at higher risk for cancer. And it's not that the drug itself will cause cancer. It's the secondary depletion of anti-cancer nutrients and anti-cancer protective compounds in the body are depleted. So now we're at higher risk for cancer. And in this way, prescription drugs will lead to carcinogenesis, to cancers. Step number five, more doctor visits, more medication, more interactions with the medical model. This leads to more glutathione depletion and more sickness and more drugs and more medical intervention and round and round and round we go. Drug companies win. They become enormously profitable. Anybody ever heard of a drug company going out of business? Anybody ever heard of a drug company going bankrupt? It never happens. That's because they're guaranteed guaranteed entrenched into the into our economic model they just raise the prices anybody here of a hospital going out of business or an HMO going out of business they win we lose and by the way does anybody have any idea how ho- unbelievably profitable hospitals are even so-called non-for-profit ones according to an article published on uh, on the website science daily quoting an article from uh, May 2016 the May 2016 journal health affairs seven of the 10 most profitable hospitals in the United States 
each of which earned more than $163 million in profits were so-called non-profit hospitals. Make no mistake about it, people make a lot of money in the hospital business, in the sickness business. The CEOs make millions of dollars a year in salaries and bonuses and payoffs. According to the book, An American Sickness, the awesome book, by the way, if you want to read up on this, on this subject, uh, An American Sickness, subtitled How Healthcare Became Big Business and How You Can Take It Back by Elizabeth Rosenthal. She quotes a, a statistic, uh, CEO payoffs, CEO bonuses, whatever you want to call them, CEO salaries grew by nearly 25% just between two, 2011 and 2012. And when it comes to the economics of health, guess who loses? We do. The financial incentive is such that patients become customers, patients are compelled to participate in this scheme, and when it comes to uh, chronic long-term health conditions, nobody ever gets better. We just get sicker. Now, if you're on the receiving end of this largesse, if you're a member of the health and hospital industry, it becomes important to make sure, of course, that you have this steady stream of income. You got bills to pay. You got a, a mortgage. You got a fancy car. You know, you're, you're a big shot surgeon, doctor. So you're CEO of a hospital. How are you going to keep this steady stream of income coming in? What could we possibly, thinking like a CEO of a hospital, what could we possibly do to assure that this stream of cash that runs from the individuals, us, to the institution, them, never stops? Hmm. How can we, maybe we can get the government to guarantee it. How about we call it national health insurance? Huh. This is Obamacare. This is the so-called ACA, which is a permanent guarantee of an income stream from us to them, from the inst individual to the institution via tax dollars and via premiums that get ever, ever, ever larger every year, every year. This whole scheme gets memorialized and locked into place, and you have these pompous politicians that we need to guarantee, we need to, to and by the way, I don't have a problem with catastrophic health care. There's a, there's a need for catastrophic health care. But there's no need to have your to guarantee health uh, how you get to have your blood pressure checked every six months. There's no need to guarantee that. We can check our own blood pressure. We can take nutrients. We can eat correctly. We can exercise. Health is our business. Health is about lifestyle. I'm not talking about catastrophic issues. And by the way, this is where hospitals excel. Give credit where credit is due. Hospitals excel when it comes to uh, acute emergency medicine, but when it comes to chronic long-term health care, it's none of the government's business. It's none of the medical model's business. And this is why supplementation and controlling food behavior is so darn important. Eating correctly and supplementing correctly and exercising and moving the body and relaxing transcend anything, anything you could ever do or ever get from a, a, a representative of the medical model. Exercise, rest, breathing strategies, mental strategies, emotional strategies. These are so, so valuable because they represent our freedom. They represent our liberation from the prison of the medical model that's been constructed for us through Obamacare, through guaranteed national health care. Nobody gets better with insurance, folks. Nobody gets better with guaranteed health care. Nobody gets better with, with doctor-mandated medical model prescription so-called health care. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll get your phone calls. When we come back from our break, you're listening to The Bright Side. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls here in just a sec. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, longevity formulations, you can... Uh, Call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. If you want to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee, you can start a longevity business and join me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Call 866-735-2470 or sign up right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. We've got news stories, blog posts, videos, all kinds of good health information as well as all the longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, from, let's see what I want to tell you here. This is from Time Magazine. 
the hidden dangers of makeup and shampoo. There's more to your makeup than meets the eye. New research shows that health-related complaints about cosmetic products like shampoo and makeup are at an all-time high since the FDA began keeping track more than a decade ago. Not surprising to me. I've been formulating skin care products and shampoos and health care products now for going on 30 plus years. I first, my first formulation was in 1983. So what does that mean? Oh my gosh, 34 years I've been formulating skincare products. And I'll tell you what, I used to wear gloves and a mask when I had to formulate for the, I, was work, I worked for the Blistex Corporation when I was making uh, Blistex. I made so much Blistex, oh my gosh. I made tons of this stuff, pounds and pounds and pounds of Blistex. I would wear gloves and I'd wear a mask when I dip my hand in the phenol and I dip my hand in the preservative. The same stuff that you guys are rubbing on your skin and rubbing on your face and rubbing on your lips. I would wear a mask and I'd wear a glove and I'd wear gloves when I had to interact with these things. They're nasty chemicals. This is why I came up with my True Skin Health products because I wanted to give you, wanted to get people away to treat the skin, to, to heal the skin, to deliver nutrients to the skin without, having, without you having to confront the toxicity of many cosmetic ingredients. I won't say all cosmetic ingredients, but many of them, especially, by the way, sunscreens. Sunscreens, preservatives, and fragrances are probably the three most toxic skin health ingredients, skin care ingredients you can ever put on your skin. And it's craziness to be rubbing them on every day, multiple times a day. And there's no way you can tell me that there's no long-term health problems associated with this. There are measurable amounts of preservatives found in women's breasts. There are measurable amounts of preservatives found in breast tumors. The stuff eventually will make it into your blood. These ingredients will eventually make it into your blood, particularly preservatives, fragrances, and sunscreens. Those are the three most toxic chemicals that you rub on your skin, and many of us rub them on multiple times a day. All right, from, uh, this is from, uh, from Med, MedPage Daily. Robust association between migraine and sleep apnea. Patients with migraine, especially chronic migraine, are at increased risk for sleep disturbances, including sleep apnea, according to a study from Yeshiva University in New York City. Well, this makes perfect sense, because when you have sleep apnea, you don't breathe correctly. When you don't breathe correctly, blood vessels don't open and close correctly, and this is what migraine headaches are about. Migraine headaches involve blood vessels not opening and closing correctly. They are secondary to de deprivations in oxygen, which is also associated with sleep apnea. The three major reasons, or the two major reasons why people get migraine headaches involve the hormone insulin and involve the hormone estrogen. Food toxicity is oftentimes involved, and oxygenation can be involved, or a lack of oxygenation. If you are dealing with migraine headaches, the first thing to do is look for food problems. As always, no matter what your health challenge is, the first, first thing to do is look for food problems. The second thing you want to do is you want to balance out estrogen. Use progesterone cream, use pregnenolone, use magnesium, use the B-complex. The third thing to do is make sure you're breathing correctly. It's practicing slow, deep breathing. Do not underestimate the absolute incredible health benefits associated with slow, deep, rhythmic breathing. All three of those are important. Slow, deep, and rhythmic. Slowly uh, activates the parasympathetic nervous system deeply to make sure that you're really oxygenating and uh, intensely oxygenating. And the rhythm is so important. The body loves rhythm. Like those old hypnotists, you are getting sleepy with a little watch going back and forth. The body just loves rhythm. If you're having a problem sleeping at night, find a, find a way to, to notice a rhythm in the body, especially the rhythm of breathing. Breathing rhythmically will, make you, will relax you and help you fall asleep if you're dealing with insomnia. And also will help activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which will lower your blood pressure and reduce the burden, reduce uh, uh, the burden of the uh, stress hormone system on the heart and cardiovascular system. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Time to hit the phones. Let's go to Kathy in Minnesota. Good morning, Kathy. Right side. Hi, Ben. Hey, what's up? What's going on? I have a toddler who loves the tangy, and he calls nice. it his juice. Okay. And... I am wondering if the dosing information is correct on the... Just make a dilute solution. Don't make him a dilute solution uh, to where he likes the taste of it. Don't make it too, too, don't make it too sweet. It's not going to hurt him. You, you just, it won't, he doesn't need that much, probably. Uh, he, I'm assuming he weighs, what, 30, 40 pounds kind of thing? Yeah, I think... Yeah, just dilute. Pounds. Just make him a dilute solution and let him sip on it. Because uh, the original BTT, I thought... This, and this is a question for me and my husband as well. Um, 
I thought it was a scoop per 50 pounds, but then the 2.0 just says two scoops. You know, I don't pay too much attention to that. I wouldn't worry about it. I go to taste. Okay. It's much more important oh, okay. that you like the taste of the stuff. That's the problem oh, with the dosing okay. information there. You know, the BTT is designed to give you a steady state a day, throughout the day, like a steady state input of nutrition throughout the day. That's much more important than trying to do two scoops all at once. Remember, it's water soluble, so you're going to urinate out what you don't use. As, the, as your blood circulates and goes through the kidneys, you're going to lose a lot of that nutrient, a lot of those nutrients. So it's much better, in my opinion. I know I, I get crosswise with you know, some of the folks at Longevity, but my opinion, it's much more effective to sip on it all day long than it is to try to do one big dose all at once. Okay, got it. Okay. And then one other question. Yes, ma'am. I am pregnant, and I am Congratulations. wondering about, thank you so much, about stretch marks. Is there something I can put on, put? Get, go get my Omega-6 healing cream and put it on your belly before, while it's expanding. Once you have the stretch marks, they're not going away unless you have them surgically removed. Scars yeah, and stretch marks don't second. go away. You yeah, want to put it on baby. while the belly is expanding, while your belly is okay. expanding. And also, even though your doctor may not approve of this, retinol is also helpful. You know, talk to your doctor about that. But uh, in my opinion, that's much ado about some. There's, a, there's this, this meme, this myth that doctors believe that somehow retinol and retinoic acid can interrupt the, or interfere with the development of the fetus. Not true at all. Uh, but just let your doctor okay. know what you're doing. It is very effective for preventing stretch marks. Uh, and vitamin C doesn't have that problem. So you can use vitamin C as much as you want. But check with your doctor about the retinol. Even though in my personal opinion, it doesn't make a difference. And it will make a difference in your stretch marks. Awesome. Thank you so okay. much, Ben. Take, take care. Thanks, Kathy. Okay, let's go to Mike in Kentucky. Good morning, Mike. Welcome to the Bright Side. Well, good morning to you. I've recently found your show. I've been kind of bouncing around a lot of these different uh, kind of health gurus since way back in the days of Dr. Dean Adele, if you remember. Oh, okay. Him. How'd you find I us? Played. How'd you find us? Uh, I listened in on uh, satellite radio on a free-to-air satellite. Okay, and, good deal. Uh, yeah, it's a neat way to have a one-way connection where Big Brother ain't listening in necessarily. Okay, I like that. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, Mike, we got a we got a commercial coming up. Hang on, and we'll get you when we come back. Okay? okay, don't go away. Thanks for your call. Appreciate it. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Got lines open for you. You are listening to the Bright Side. We'll take a commercial break and be right back. So don't go away. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number, and we're talking to Mike in Kentucky. What's going on, my friend? Well, you know, you when sometimes you're on hold for these shows, I've noticed that a lot of topics come up, and you had mentioned something about electromagnetic fields, but I don't want to open that can of worms. You saw the movie The Fugitive, I'm sure. You know, I didn't see The Fugitive, but oh, I, I kind of know what it was Provastic, about. Provastic was a, a fictional drug they had in there that I believe Hollywood was trying to use as a parody for statin drugs. Okay. And uh, in your uh, readings on uh, statins, have you ever run across the uh, concept that they, one of the cofactors may be that they are antifungal and may be reducing inflammation, and that's why some yeah. uh, positive benefits have been seen. I hadn't heard about antifungal, but yes, they are anti-inflammatory because cholesterol is involved in inflammation. Yeah. Cholesterol is one of the ways the body protects itself, and this is why doctors like to use statin drugs for weird things like Parkinson's disease that aren't necessarily associated with lowering cholesterol because of their anti-inflammatory benefits. Off-label. And it Off -label. Does it not also interfere with vitamin D? Uh, 100 percent. Vitamin D is cholesterol. Now, they'll right. tell you vitamin D comes from cholesterol. I say it is cholesterol. If you look at the so, chemical structure of vitamin D in the, gotta, in the uh, chemical structure, gotta, let me just finish this up okay, real quick. Sorry. If you look at the chemical structure of vitamin D and you look at the chemical structure of cholesterol, there's, there's not much difference. So basically, vitamin D is cholesterol. If you suppress the production of cholesterol, you're going to suppress the production of vitamin D as well. Yes, that's yeah, correct. Duh. Even in sunshine states, I'm hearing that people are deficient, so they need to supplement ridiculous amounts in, in some cases. Uh, I heard something about surfers in Hawaii being deficient in vitamin D. Deficient. Because yeah. they're wearing sunscreens. They're all wearing sunscreens. Well, and, and who knows what else is in their diet that's doing that. But uh, the, I, when is there going to be a class action lawsuit for statins causing diabetes <laughs> and heart failure? 
Uh, you know, you could start. I don't know how that's done, to tell you the truth. But I don't either. It, I but heard you, that, there, that most statins were approved fairly above placebo, that they really didn't show that much benefit except in men over 70. Right, who've already had a heart attack. Yeah, second right. prevention of second heart attack. And prevention of second, right, that's and, right. Uh, the, uh, they've tried to prescribe them to women who just had a baby who have a cholesterol of 600 because they're breastfeeding. And I mean, little kids. Just, they want to give it to yeah, kids, it's too. Insane. It's absolute insanity. Are you a healthcare professional, Mike? Hey, Mike, no, what do you do? No, big pharma. I'm a, basically a media guy who okay. studied these issues. But it's my understanding that um, from Robert Fitzgerald Kennedy last summer, it blew my mind when I found out the big pharma is four times bigger as a lobby than a military-industrial complex. How do you like There's that? There's no room for corruption there. No, of course not. And not, uh, certainly the ACA, the Affordable Health Care Act, there's no room for corruption in that one either. Oh, my gosh. That's all for, for me and you. It's the institution versus the individual, always. And we, we can take our power back because we're bigger than them, but we've got to work together and we've got to understand their sneaky, devious tricks. Thanks like, for taking like my call, man. Thanks, Mike. Have a great day, buddy. Good to talk to you. All right, let's move on to Eric in Texas. Good morning, my friend. What's going on, Eric? Welcome to the Bright Side, buddy. Hey, how are you doing today? Doing good. How can we help you? Well, um, about two to three years ago, my dad was diagnosed with uh, kidney disease, and he he was put on a statin drug. I mean, not a statin. I'm sorry. I heard y'all talking about statin. He was put on a steroid uh, that did not work. And then when he went for his last checkup, which was recently, they said, well, you have a lot of protein in your, in your urine, so we're going to stick you back on a steroid. And it didn't work the first time, they said, and I don't see why they think it's going to work this time. And it's You're smarter than your doctor, time. obviously, right? Yeah. And why, do, why would they give it to him again? Steroids are, you know, there's, if there were a top 10 list of nasty, nasty drugs, steroids would be, prednisone particularly, would be, uh, you know, it's hard to say what the worst is, but it's in the top 10, that's for sure. It's an awful drug. It suppresses the body's immune system. It keeps the body from being able to defend itself, from being able to grow, from being able to repair. It is a god-awful drug, and while it will reduce symptomology, in the long run, it will kill you. It's an awful, awful, awful medical strategy using steroid drugs. Now, here's the deal. The kidney is a detoxification and filtering system, and it filters the blood, and it detoxes the blood. And kidney disease is an epidemic. Kidney disease is blood disease. Kidney disease is caused by dirty blood. And this should be no surprise because of what, what the kidney does. But all diseases, all chronic long-term diseases are dirty blood. Why is the blood dirty? Because of how we eat. Pers uh, drugs and other toxic things that we do will make matters worse, of course, cigarette smoke, alcohol, etc. But the main issue when it comes to dirty blood is food, and that includes sugar. And there's a very good reason why diabetes and kidney disease go hand in hand. When the blood becomes filled with sugar, uh, when blood glucose, when, when glucose control is corrupted from diabetes and, and, and insulin resistance, etc., there's a reaction that occurs between sugar and blood vessels that basically damages blood vessels. And this is especially critical for the kidney because the blood vessels are so teeny, teeny, tiny and wrapped around so tightly in the kidneys. So kidney disease needs to be regarded as a, a blood issue. How do you deal with it? You clean the blood. How do you clean the blood? Well, there's lots of ways to do it, but the best way is to control food behavior, control eating. And I hate to be a one-trick pony here. I'm not a one-trick pony, but it all comes down to what we're eating. Not 100% maybe, but a good 90%. So you got to change how you're eating. Eliminate food toxins. Eliminate any foods that cause allergic or disturb, uh, intolerances or allergies. Use probiotics, the nightly essence, on a regular basis, apple cider vinegar. Practice caloric restriction. The less you eat, the better off you're going to be. Use liquid nutrients. And then make sure you're using the Mighty 90 essential nutrients, especially the B-complex and vitamin C. Also, vitamin E is very important for helping clean the blood and for protecting the liver and for, uh, for the kidneys as well. I'd be using 400 international units a day of vitamin E, make sure, at least, make sure you're using, uh, make sure you're getting electrolytes, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is like an electrolyte drink, as well as a B vitamin and vitamin C drink, vegetable juices can be helpful, 
Uh, glutamine powder can be helpful. Anything you could do to support glutathione, which as well is critical for liver health, but it's also important for the kidneys. That is using N-acetylcysteine supplements, NAC supplements, making sure you're using your bone broth protein to get glycine uh, and glutamine. Whey protein will also, whey protein will also help you. Uh, the mineral selenium and sulfur are also very important. And anything you could do for blood sugar control, any nutrients you can use for blood sugar control are going to be helpful as well. So much you could do. If you want to do one thing, just one thing only, get, uh, if you can anyway, intravenous vitamin C. That can be super helpful for cleaning the blood and also for kidney health. Intravenous vitamin C where you just stick it right in your veins. Does that help you, Eric, or anything else you want to ask? I, yeah, I do got one more question. Um, yes, sir. My my kids, they're up for their meningococcal vaccine, uh, ages 9 and 11. Um, I wanted to ask your opinion. Is that something good to get? I did get an exemption through the state of Texas um, to not have, you know, so that they don't have to have their vac the, the rest of their vaccines. They've had pretty much most of them. Uh, you, but after my wife was diagnosed with cancer, we, we started being a little bit more careful as to what we're putting in their bodies and stuff. So, um you, you know, so the, the meninges bacteria, uh, we've lived with it for eons. Why all of a sudden we need a vaccine? I don't know. I, I'm suspicious of vaccines. I can't say yay or nay. Uh, when you inject stuff directly into the blood, you are bypassing the body's protective mechanisms. The body is designed to protect itself through the digestive tract. It's not Once stuff gets into the blood, you don't know what's going on. And when you ha take a vaccine, it's not just the vaccine you're taking. You're all, it's not just the, uh, uh, the uh, active component that you're taking. You're taking all the excipients. You know, there's fillers in there. There's mercury in there. There's oils in there. There's all kinds of things that don't belong in your blood. So it's a problem. Uh, whether to have a vaccination or not, I, I can't answer that question, but I would be extremely suspicious and extremely careful. And as far as uh, meningococcal vaccines, I don't know that that's Im amazingly necessary or important, but you're going to have to make your own decision on that. Okay. If you do do the vaccine, right, well, it becomes extra important that you take care of your nutrition, especially nutrition uh, that helps your body detoxify substances, glutathione building strategies we've been talking about here today. Whether to do it or not, that's something every parent has to decide for themselves, but I'd be very suspicious and very careful. All right, okay. Eric. Well, All right, man. Thank, thank you, you so much, much for the call. It. Appreciate okay. it. All right. Thank Have you. a great day. All right. We've got uh, time for one more here. Let's see. Let's go to Jim in Colorado. Is this my friend Jim in NoCal, no Northern Colorado? Right. No call. Jim, is that you? Yeah. And how, how you doing, Jim? What's going on, man? I'm doing fine. Uh, I'm out here in the yard grinding my epidermis off again. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I realize you get a lot of emails. I sent you an email about a week ago, so I'm, I assume Did you, you send it? Why don't you call me? Do you have my number, Jim? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give me a call, because I do get tons of emails, and I do miss some. Give me a call, okay? What's the best, what's the best time to call you? Like, there, you know, if you get my voicemail, I'll definitely get back to you. It's, there's, it's hit or miss. Okay, great. Okay, okay Thanks, Jim. Man. Take care, my man. Thank okay, you. Bye. All right. That is the music, and that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thank you so much for listening. Please check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products. And don't forget about Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com or Truth Retinol 5% gel made with retinol and vitamin C. Never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, water, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our Truth Skin Health products. Have a beautiful, wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. Thank you.